Welcome to In Concert Sierra's Poetry and Song and the premiere or world premiere of 11 brand new works. I'm Mark Vance. I'm education director for In Concert Sierra and I'm the teacher of this composition class. This year we have 11 students ages 13 to 17 and each student is tasked with finding a poem that really speaks to them. Once they've done that, they need to do a little research on the poet and the poem, making sure they understand the poet's intent. And then the hard work begins. Then they set this poem to music. This is called text setting. And it's always, well, it's not always an easy job to do, especially if there's no rhyme scheme or natural rhythm in the poem. During the pandemic, there was no face-to-face, -face, and so all of this was exponentially a little harder this year than normal. But we persevered and got the job done. And because there are no live concerts, we scheduled a rehearsal performance with safe procedures and recorded that on video. I'd like to thank you for joining us again, and please enjoy In Concert Sierra's Poetry and Song. My name is Kieran Dixon. I am in 11th grade at the Sierra Academy of Expeditionary Learning, or SAIL. I have been in this project for three years now, and I chose the poem Ghost House by Robert Frost. I chose this poem because I was trying to go for a certain tone. I kind of wanted to do something spooky. And so I found this wonderful little poem about a man who lives in an old, decrepit ruin of a house with a haunted graveyard nearby. As for some fun things to look out for in the piece is there's a line that references a bird and we actually looked up the bird call and tried to implement that into, it, into the piece, which I thought was really fun. In addition, my favorite part is when we've got these nice arpeggios near the beginning of the piece. Something that I really enjoy is we've listened to tons of classical pieces from different musicians and it's fun because sometimes I just recognize random pieces. I think the most important thing is to thank my musicians, Jordan and Sage, for doing an incredible job on the piece. Oh. 
cluck and flutter about. I hear him begin far enough away for many a time to say his say. My name is Athena Giuliani. I am 15 years old and in ninth grade at Nevada Union High School. I have been playing violin for 11 years, and this is my second year in the Composers Project. I set the poem Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe to music. When I was looking for a poem to use, I had the idea that I wanted a dramatic love story and a song to go into my collection about the sea. This poem was perfect. Annabelle Lee was Poe's last poem and it was remembering the woman he loved. Towards the end of the poem, the narrator goes down to the sea and looks into the sky, looks at the stars, and sees her eyes in the starlight. Thank you to In Concert Sierra for keeping this program going through this tough time, Mark for mentoring me, my parents for supporting me, and Stan Thomas Rose and Ken Harden for performing this piece.
My name's Ari, I'm in seventh grade, and I play piano and violin. I've been in the Composers Project for about six months, and the song, is, the song I wrote is called Where the Sidewalk Ends. And it's for piano and voice. And I chose this poem because I like the rhythm. I'd like to thank uh, my parents, Mark, and ICS for this experience. There is a place 
I'm Levi, and my piece is The Butterfly, from poetry written by Heather Adamkiewicz, who actually wrote the poem when she was 13. I chose the poem because all of my previous music had been sort of unhappy, and so I decided to choose the poem that was the least unhappy I could find. Uh, throughout the piece, I use a lot of word painting, where the melody in the vocals matches somewhat the meaning of the words that the singer is singing. And, uh, and I also do some sequencing in the harp. In class with Mark, we will listen to a lot of different composers and read biographies. I'd like to thank my parents for letting me be part of this great program and In Concert Sierra, of course, for making it possible, and my incredible players, Julie and Sage, for learning and playing this piece.
Hello, my name is James Thomas Rose. I am 17 and I go to Nevada Union High School. I am a junior there. Um, I am in the chamber choir and the men's chorus. I have, uh, I've, I've been playing piano my entire life. I'm also a singer. Um, and I have been composing in Young Composers for three years now. Um, this year I chose a poem called The Perception of Truth. It is by a person named Anita Atina. This poem really spoke to me because I have been doing a lot of thinking during COVID and quarantine about the differences between people and their opinions and what they believe to be true. And I just happened across this perfect poem. This poem is, um, it, it, it speaks on how truth can be different between every person. And that's something I've been resonating with. And um, I, it, was such a, it was such a fun thing trying to, you know, tie these two concepts together of music and this poem about truth. Um, and I'm really, I'm really proud of what I've done. Um, the, this, the beginning, really, I, I was very happy with. Um, da, 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 da. It, it kind of has, it's a very strong melody that I, I really, I, I was very happy with and I loved tying it in, in different places. I just feel so blessed. I feel so blessed to have this program and this community of support to, you know, share music and create. And it's, it's really a learning environment. And I'm, I'm very thankful that In Concert Sierra has, you know, created such a, a, a youthful, safe place. Um, I want to thank In Concert Sierra, I want to thank my parents, I want to thank my grandparents, and thank you very much. Please enjoy Perception of Truth.
Hello, my name's Jackson and I'm 13 years old. I'm in seventh grade and I play piano. The piece you'll be listening to today is by Edgar Albert Guest, not to be confused with Edgar Allan Poe. Mr. Guest was a sensation in the early 1900s. He was known worldwide and was best known in the US. Don't Quit is almost four minutes long and this is my third composition. Don't Quit is written for a voice accompanied by a viola. I would like to thank the musicians playing my piece, giving you and me the gift of beautiful sound. Thank you in Concert Sierra for providing this amazing opportunity to young composers in gold country. And of course, Mark, my mentor, for helping me every step of the way and helping me not quit. I would like to dedicate this song to my uncle Eli Meltzer. I hope you all enjoy and I am proud to present Don't Quit. Eva Floyd. I'm 17 years old and a junior at Nevada Union High School. This is my fourth year in the Composers Project and I play trumpet and piano. 
I chose to set What Kind of Times Are These by Adrian Rich to music for alto voice and piano. The poem resonates with me and represents with what has been going on in this country. Adrian Rich was a forward-thinking feminist with an extraordinary talent for putting difficult concepts into words. Multiple places in the poem include the word disappear, which I portrayed through my music by getting softer and fading away during those last lines. Because of COVID, we switched to online classes and we can't go to concerts anymore, but we still uh, listen to musical pieces online and talk about the composers. We also have guest musicians and speakers come in. I want to thank In Concert Sierra for giving me this opportunity, the performers for performing my piece, and my parents for supporting me. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, I'm Baraka. I'm 14 and in 8th grade at Uber River Charter School. This is my third year in the Composer's Project and I've been playing piano for nine years. The poem I chose is The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus, a Jewish immigrant. The poem is about the Statue of Liberty and welcoming immigrants to the U.S. My piece is for soprano voice and piano. I made the piano part more simple so that the words could stand out. You can listen for the words in the piece. One of the things we do in the Composers Project is we listen to music by various composers and analyze it. I'd like to thank my parents, Mark Vance, the musicians, and In Concert Sierra. I hope you enjoy the new Colossus. My name is Nikita Hrepin. I am 16 years old and I play the piano. The piece I chose is The Conqueror Worm by Edgar Allan Poe. 
The reason I chose it is because Edgar Allan Poe writes in a very dark and mysterious fashion, but the text also has a very smooth and continuous feel about it, which makes it very enjoyable to write with. And we, all, we also do things in class, and one of the things we do in class is have guest speakers outside of the music profession. For example, our next composition is about fire and the firefighting, so we often have people come in from that field and explain stuff, which we then learn. And, and finally, I would like to thank the amazing musicians and in Concert Sierra for this amazing opportunity to compose a piece and have it performed by professional musicians.
Hi, I'm Kate, I'm 16, and I'm a junior at Nevada Union High School. I play French horn, and this is my second year in the Composers Project. The piece I wrote is The Wall by Laura Kosicki, and I wrote it for alto voice and harp. I chose this poem because I like the mood of it, and so I set that mood by a using a repeating line in the harp that you can hear throughout the piece. I want to thank Sage and Christy for playing my piece and In Concert Sierra for making this happen. My name is Noah Prescott, and I attend Nevada Union High School. 
I'm a junior and this is my second year in the program, and I played the trombone and the violin. The poem I chose is titled, I Sleep in My Inkwell and Wave to the Distant, and it was originally written in Arabic by Zakia al marmuk but it was translated to English by Jennifer Jean and Amir al -Azraki. When I first read it, I was immediately captivated by the powerful imagery and beautiful metaphorical language. To best preserve that language, I tried to make sure the piano accompaniment was relatively simple and never overpowered the singer too much. A major theme of the poem is finding solace and peace despite suffering, which I tried to reflect in the melody, the voice. This year, there have been quite a few challenges, but regardless, we've managed to continue both individual and group classes. I'm very grateful to every single person who helped create this piece with me and helped support it, most of all, my two wonderful musicians. It was a very fun project to work on. Thank you.
subjects of war to all those I say. Dream.